Hey art fans, thanks so much for tuning in today. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the big subscribe button down below, but don't hit it too hard because you'll hurt your hand and probably break your screen. Don't do that, but give it a little click, click down below and that will, you know, make us friends for like ever. It'll be so cool. All right, here's what's going on. There's a show called My Hero Academia. Huge hit anime thing. I am a huge anime fan. I respect anime like you cannot believe. I try and get all my anime terms and statements correct. Hey Butch, what you got there? Oh hey Jace, uh, <laughs> got a box. Hmm, what's in the box? I don't know, should we find out? Let's find out. You know what? We're gonna find out what's in this box right here on this channel on Sunday. So tune back in, check it out. Hey, cool shirt. Hey, thanks. I do love anime and I, I love anime characters. I grew up watching Speed Racer, Kimba the White Lion, uh, Gachiman, which was called Battle of the Planets here in America. I love anime style. I am doing a show called Elf Detective right now, developing something that's extremely cool and anime inspired. See, I know it's not anime for real because it's got to come right from Japan, but it's anime. See, I'm learning. See, I'm learning these things. So anyway, My Hero Academia, I guess I would equate it to, and Forgive me if I say this, and I don't want to offend anybody, but like, if it's, uh, I would equate it to X Men, I guess, because it's like a school with heroes. Am I correct? Yes, no. Did I, did I mess that up? I hope I didn't mess it up. I haven't watched a lot of it, and I apologize for that. But I'm going to take a character right now from My Hero Academia and show you guys how to create a show. Okay, here's why I'm doing this. A lot of people ask me, Hey, Butch. And I say yes, and they say, Can you teach me how to create a cartoon show? And I say. What do you mean? They go, well, you know, like you do, you create a show and it's awesome. And I go, well, it's not really that easy. It takes a little bit of thinking. And they go, but I just want to draw. And I go, well, that's great. The drawing's great, but you need to be able to think and tell stories and develop characters and all this sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is take a character that exists in My Hero Academia, pull it out and make a new show around it. But I know nothing about this character. I only know the look and I want to show you guys what it takes to create a show around a character. The character's name is Snipe. And Snipe, um, I know nothing about, but I'm gonna create a show around this character now that's gonna be different than how it currently exists, okay? So if you're yelling at your computer right now going, how dare you take that character? I'm not trying to insult or, or misrepresent Snipe, I'm just pulling a character out, okay? Again, forgiveness please, thank you. All right, so Snipe is a character, I look at him, I, I, say, I think cowboy right away. Cowboy hat, the gun, cowboy looking outfit. I got a picture of him here, yeah, the the, the serape cape sort of thing. But the gas mask, why the gas mask? And then there's the boots. Why the boots, why the gas mask? Well, I'm gonna go like this. I, maybe this character already does this in My Hero Academia, I don't know, but I'm thinking gas mask. I'm looking at this character. To me, this character looks like a wanderer who um, sort of doesn't seem like he knows where he's going, but he actually really does. To me, this character looks like he is on a mission. And I think the, uh, the mission is vengeance, I think. And I think he wears the gas mask because he shoots gas pellets out of his gun. So the gas in his gun doesn't affect him. I probably already mixed some of that stuff up from the real show. Not really sure. But why is Snipe out for vengeance? We gotta go back now. We need a backstory for this character. I'm just making this up off the top of my head. Because this is what writers and, and creators do all the time. You have to come up with stuff off the top of your head. Maybe not all of it's great. Maybe some of it will stick. And I encourage you to write this stuff down. I'm not writing it down now because I'm talking to you, but if I was actually for real doing this, I'd write all this down. So, Snipe is a character who's wandering. I think he's wandering in a post-apocalyptic world. That always seems to be kind of a cool, you know, backdrop to start with. I don't always like the post-apocalyptic world though because everybody does it. It is so overdone and so overused. I don't want to see the post-apocalyptic world, so I'm going to try and change that as we go forward. But for now, we'll start with the post-apocalyptic world. I think Snipe is wandering this world looking for vengeance. He's got this special gun that shoots gas. He only has a certain number of pellets. He can't use it on everybody. But I think Snipe is looking for something or someone, and I think he's trying to save someone. I think giving the main character a quest, a journey in which they're on, a goal for them to get to, because every time you watch the show, you're going to want to know if they got to their goal. So I think Snipe is on a quest in a post-apocalyptic world, which I'm gonna try and change in a sec. Uh, he's got this weapon that he's manufactured. I think the manufa I think the weapon, the gun pellets, actually hurt him at one time. In fact, how about this? What if the weapon that he carries with him is the weapon that created the post-apocalyptic world in the first place? Like he was trying to invent this gun, maybe it was, it, was, it was designed to save people or designed to make the clouds rain or something like that. He was trying to, he was trying to help people, but inadvertently, something happened where the experiment went wrong and it destroyed the whole world. And so now, 
the person who caused him to do like maybe there was someone who tried to sabotage it or steal the weapon and they got away uh, and I think maybe they took the love of his life with them and now he's on a quest to find her and to maybe set the world correct maybe uh, the accident he caused he carries that burden with him and he's got to figure a way to change the world back and get his the love of his life back as well so that might be an interesting backstory you know and now who is snipe why is he a scientist you know he, he probably grew up in a family of scientists I think we start off where you know he was a scientist but now he's become this this desert wanderer guy and I think he uses his scientific ability to right wrongs as he comes upon them in this post-apocalyptic world. I think maybe his body is half mechanical. I mean, we can't see, uh, the one drawing I have here with his body covered with this cape, we can't see his whole body, so perhaps there's some robotic parts of his body going on there. But I think he's got a reason for existing because he has to right the wrong that he ended up causing in the first place. That's always a great character motivation. Now we gotta come up with some side characters for Snipe too. Now if he's a lone wanderer, he probably won't have anybody with him, but maybe he's got a mechanical dog with him or a mechanical friend, a robot or some kind of a drone that helps him uh, find his way through this wasteland world. Maybe uh, uh, when there's sandstorms and stuff, the robot can see through the sand and Snipe can't. Uh, maybe uh, the robot can signal for help, the robot can find him food. All those sorts of things. And so that's sort of the way to create a show. You look at a character that you've drawn most likely, you come up with a world for them, a reason for them to be doing what they're doing. Uh, is your show a comedy? Is it an action show? Is it a drama? You never know. So you, you need to take all of those things into consideration and see where it is you wanna go. All right guys, so that is what I call a thought experiment. I wanted to give you guys a general idea of what it's like to conceive a story or a show by using just one character and developing a storyline for that character. And I think you saw that just by putting this character in a unique environment, I'm still trying to change the, the post-apocalyptic wasteland. There's gotta be some other world we could put this person. Maybe this person's on another planet instead of a post-apocalyptic wasteland like Earth's story. story. Maybe this character has landed on another planet and somehow everything's been lost. Oh, that's like, oh, there you go. That's the idea. So Snipe went to another planet to maybe colonize it with a group of people. They had this invention where they were going to seed the clouds, like to, I keep hitting one punch man. They, uh, sorry, uh, he's going to punch me. Um, but they had this very experiment to seed the clouds of the planet to, and, and to enable rain to fall, to uh, make plant life grow on the planet, to make it habitable. And I think things went wrong. I mean, turned the planet into an even more uh, horrible wasteland than it was. And the person who sabotaged the experiment got away and they're living on the planet somewhere with uh, Snipe's one true love. And Snipe now has to right the wrong that he feels he did by ruining this planet and saving the love of his life and getting revenge on the bad person. So I think that's a pretty cool story idea. All right, so this has been kind of a thought experiment what would you guys think about that, taking characters from one show and creating a whole brand new world around them? Should I do this with other characters? Maybe other anime characters, other Nickelodeon characters, other, uh, you know, Hanna-Barbera, Cartoon Network characters? Let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, guys. I really appreciate it. It's so much fun to talk with you guys and to work uh, ideas out in front of you. I think it's really fun. I hope it inspires you because it always inspires me. It's a lot of fun to do. It's a great, great way to uh, stretch your, your thought muscles and your writing muscles especially because everyone anyone who can draw that's awesome if you can draw and write on top of each other you make yourself just that much more valuable so I encourage you to keep writing stories even if you're an artist and you draw and you paint whatever you might be fabulous but try writing stories as well okay all right guys thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it and as always art and writing gives you power use it wisely Hey, Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.